Okay, YouTube, in this episode we're going to talk about securing the cables when you uh, mount your DRO. And I'll show you what I did. Because the last thing you want to happen is, you know, for loose cable to get into your spindle or something and cut. Cut the cable, pull it out of the reader head, damage the reader head, something like that. So let me go over basically what I did. So on my arm here, let me flip it around here. So what I've done on that was I drilled two holes through the bar. I ran some 632 screws in and I used these nylon clamps and I actually, my kit came with like a cup two of them or something like that. I needed more. So I actually went to Harbor Freight because I wasn't sure what size I exactly needed and I bought this right here. It was like $2.99. You can see it's a 40 piece set. Uh, it was plenty. There's still quite a few left in there. So what I did was I drilled a random screw through there, put those cables on there, and I selected the size so that it wouldn't slide through there, so it did kind of secure it. So a couple things to think about when you do that is, one, you want to be able to rotate the monitor around, you know, any direction you want without the cables, you know, getting snagged. So I got plenty of that right there as you can see. So I got like a little loop here on these so one there's no stress on here. Alright and then on my reader head I actually have a box here so next thing I did was I used a zip tie there and I secured the cable because like I said you don't want that flopping around so it's out of the way it's plugged in. Then I ran the cables down over through here and I actually secured them so they can't fly into the spindle here using those nylon straps and a screw through there. I got one down there and then this other cable in here, black cable got in here is, uh, for my light that I just made for here. I uh, had taken a desktop lamp and fabricated a base to it to make it work. I don't want to spend a hundred dollars on a light. So I incorporated those in here and down here and then I took zip ties and ran the cable through here ran them through here every so many inches right now through there uh, so that uh, it's just one big cable and it you know doesn't get all over the place and it's all secured in one one piece I think it might be easier for me to just lift it up and clean up underneath there and things like that okay uh, I think that's pretty much all it uh, just some things to think about. Oh, when you do this right here, uh, make sure that you can run your carriage all the way down, you know, and that you have plenty of leadway cable down here, which is what I did. So, this things to think about. You don't want to short yourself and get down here and pull up on that. So, some foods of thought on there. Uh, and what we'll probably end up doing next is setting up the coordinate systems on here and getting that all dialed in, but uh, you know, cable management is probably one of the easily overlooked areas that that uh, we should think about. Uh, so, thanks.